I'm Candace from Super Hair Pieces. I'm here to show you how we cut hair systems for you. Um, the reason being is because they come in really long and a lot of times you guys have a problem finding somebody to do this for you. All you need to do is send us in some measurements. I need the measurements for the front, I'll need the measurements for the sides, the back, and the top. We also have some photos online so you can pick a hairstyle that you like. Sort of like this. This is the one you like. This is a good picture. Um, and then here's the measurements that we just write down and I go and I cut accordingly. So this base is the M112 and you'll find that it will come in curly packed like this. And as you can see, it's got a nice strong base here. So for you guys that are looking for something that's a lot more durable for you, this would be the base, one of the bases that you could choose. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you roughly how we cut it. So I always grab a measuring tape and I go by inches. So please send me measurements in, in inches. We really appreciate it. And I will start from the back. And this one here in the back is three inches. So I will measure it three inches, which is about here. Now, I always make this a little bit longer than what you asked for. Only reason being is because a lot of times the hair shrinks up when it dries from when it's wet because we're pulling on it so much. Um, so you'll find that it might be a little bit longer than you asked for. It's better to err on that side than to err on it being too short because I can't fix too short. So, and I cut my hair, always cut it with a razor. Well, I always cut it with a razor around the perimeter area so it has a nice blend for you. I can get a lot of super nice layers in this as well. And it has that nice movement. So if the wind blows, it'll move nicely. It'll fall back into place for you. You won't have any issues with it. Okay, so now that we've cut the sides and the front and the back, we're going to cut the top. So I'm going to make the top, they wanted the top to be around approximately four inches. So I'm going to do that for them too. So this way they won't have any problems when they're styling it. So we always measure everything a few times before we even cut. So it's been measured a couple of times already, so we're all set. You're always asking, you know, how does this manage? How do you get this to blend in? Well, the reason why it blends in so nicely to people's hair is because we use a razor on the edges, and then this way you don't get that straight line. You'll never find that any of our cuts will have a straight line across the sides and the back. Um, all those blending areas will have like a razor cut, which will be kind of zigzaggedy, which is what gives you that nice blending line. Hi, so we've finished doing the cut on this. I'm just running through it now quickly and just kind of thinning it out here and there, wherever I see it, so it has a natural appearance. Um, a lot of times you will find that they're going to be a little bit thick. They do thin out in time on their own, but you also need to thin them out a little bit with the thinning shears. So this is pretty much what we do. We're just kind of thinning it out a bit. And then I always brush it a little bit just to see, you know, where it's going to fall. Now, as you can see, there's lots of layers here and it's flowing really nicely. So you can put some gel in it and everything and it'll fall into place and have a nice style for you. So I've just placed it on this mannequin head because it's a little bit lighter and then you can actually see how it looks. So all it's going to do is just, you just need to take the brush and just lightly brush it through here like this and then you can throw some gel in it and it will style into place nicely. As you can see, there's lots of nice layers in here so it has that nice natural effect. And this should be nice and easy for him to style on his own. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of different styles we can do with it. It is like this one here. It does look like this one, but it's a little bit longer because that's what the client wanted, so that's what we went with. But he can basically brush the sides forward like this on both sides, mess up the front, and it's going to look really natural, and he's going to have a lot of fun with this.